WVU's faculty assembly passed a no-confidence vote on West Virginia University President Gordon Gee. 32 programs and more than 150 jobs are on the chopping block at West Virginia's biggest university. This all coming from the news earlier this year that WVU will be about $45 million in the red. Students then walked out of class to protest the proposal to cut the programs from the university. Well, today wasn't the first time action was taken against WVU President Gordon Gee. Anna Saunders reports from Morgantown tonight as those faculty members and students sound off. This is the second time West Virginia University President Gordon Gee has faced a vote of no confidence. The first one in 2021 failed. This one passed overwhelmingly. Almost 800 faculty members voted yes by secret ballot to a no confidence vote. 100 voted against it. The university assembly heard from President Gordon Gee before taking up this vote. He stressed that the program and faculty cuts are necessary changes that must be made to deal with the multi-million dollar budget shortfall the university is facing and that the university will be better for it in the end. Several faculty members got up to speak in response, most expressing the concern that Gee and university administration mismanaged and overspent on the hope that enrollment would increase, and it did not, which is why they petitioned for the special meeting of the university assembly to take the votes up on Wednesday. WVU Faculty Senate Chair Frankie Tack says while this vote doesn't actually have the power to make personnel changes, it will make it clear to the board and to Gee where the faculty stands. We will tomorrow be formally reporting the results of, of the votes on both resolutions by the faculty to the Board of Governors, as well as to President Gee and Provost Reed. Um, that's non-binding for them. The faculty do not hire or fire the president, but it's considered um, an expression of of a strong opinion by the faculty. The other vote on Wednesday was to freeze the academic transformation process, which includes the cutting of 32 majors and letting go of 170 faculty members. This also passing overwhelmingly. But same situation where this doesn't actually freeze the process, just provides the administration with the opinion of the faculty. The next Board of Governors meeting will take place next Friday, and this is where they will vote on the program cuts and hear the results of today's votes. In Morgantown, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Anna, thank you. And the WVU Board of Governors also responding tonight after today's vote. Board Chair Tanja Willis-Miller said the board acknowledged the passage of the votes, but went on to say, quote, the Board of Governors unequivocally supports the leadership of President Gee and the strategic repositioning of WVU and rejects the multiple examples of misinformation that informed these resolutions. The university is transforming to better reflect the needs of today, and we must continue to act boldly. President Gee has shown time and again he is not afraid to do the difficult work required. End quote. Thank you for watching, and here's another video to watch from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for the latest.